the hardware is the physical component of a computer system which we can touch and feel what is a data data is nothing but a raw facts before processing all are nothing but data once the operation is completed again the data as well as along with the result goes back to the memory because this is the storage unit dear students welcome to second pv classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyashram pu college temple of excellence mysore students let us start our session with the chapter 1 typical configuration of computer system this is the first chapter in our second pc computer science syllabus now let us start with this chapter 1 typical configuration of computer system now let us look at the weightage of the chapter one mcq that is multi choice question and one three marks question so totally there are two questions and two questions total weightage is four marks so in this chapter you will get one mcq that is multiple choice question and one three marks question uh, generally three marks question is long answers questions so totally there are two questions weightage is four marks this is the weightage of the chapter in this chapter we are going to discuss the main the hardware components of computer system and what are the main components of motherboard and also what are the characteristics of motherboard now let us move on to next slide here the lesson starts with a simple definition of what is a computer all of you know what the definition of computer it is a electronic device process the data based on the instructions given so that is the definition of computer system now look at the next definition is hardware the hardware is the physical component of a computer system which we can touch and feel and all of you know examples like keyboard mouse monitor cpu or example for hardware next is software what is a software computer programs are called software so what are programs in turn it is a set of sequential instructions given to a computer to complete to perform a specific task that is the definition of software next definition is data what is a data data is nothing but a raw facts before processing all are nothing but data next one is if you talk about computer is a data processing system it processes the data and we get the result at the end that is the information so please do not confuse with the definition of data and information those two are different terms data is before processing and information is after processing so next one is users what are users here the users are the one who uses the computer or in other words we can say one who interact with the computer one who interact with the computer system are called users now last year we have learned the basic block diagram of computer system and it explains it tells us how computer functions how computer exactly works so already have learned let me brief you once again the same concept this computer is divided into three parts one is the input unit output unit and cpu the cpu is divided into three parts one is memory unit primary as well as secondary memory control unit and alu that is arithmetic and logic unit to all the three together we call it as cpu that is central processing unit as we know that it is a computer is a data processing unit for any processing we need to provide data to the computer system so how do we provide the data into the system we are using input unit so through input unit like keyboard mouse we have to provide data into the system along with the instructions along with the instructions or nothing but a sort of program so computer process the data 
supplied or given to input devices and display the result or gives us the information through output devices. As you know, example for output devices or it is a monitor or printer. Here, whatever the data we feed through input devices, it goes to the computer memory first. It will be stored in the computer memory along with the programming or along with the instructions. So then from the memory, it goes to the data, move to the ALU, arithmetic logic unit for processing. So ALU is a part, is a place where arithmetic and logic operation takes place. Once the operation is completed, again, the data as well as along with the result goes back to the memory because this is the storage unit. After that, then the result goes to the output unit and everything, all these activities performed by control unit, one of the main part of your CPU. So control unit is going to control data flow and instructions flow among different devices or different hardware devices. So this is what we have learned in last year, the function of computer system or how computer works. This is the main concept in the chapter that is motherboard. Now, in previous slide, we have seen the CPU. CPU, what is the CPU? CPU is a cabinet. Inside the CPU, we can find so many hardware components. So, one of the main component inside that is a motherboard. So, what is a motherboard? Motherboard is the main part of your computer system, or if I say CPU, where we can find most of the electronic components are mounted on it. So, in other words, we can say a motherboard is a main board, it is a, it is a PCB, what we call as PCB, it is a printed circuit board where most of the electronic components are mounted on it. And along with that, in this chapter, we are going to learn what are the main components on the motherboard and its functions, how it coordinate with other parts of the CPU or the motherboard. So here, Another name is, it is also a system board or a planner board or a logic board. See, this is the main component of our CPU. So this is the picture you can see that. So this is a one picture of a motherboard where you can see different components. These are things we are going to discuss in detail now. Next, it is also, it is a PCB. As I told you, it is a PCB, it is a printed circuit board. It is electronic circuit board. So there, over it, we are going to fix or many of the important components are mounted on it. And it holds many of the electronic components of the system, such as CPU. Here, CPU, we are referring to the microprocessor, the main part of your computer system. So we have CPU and memory units and there are so many connectors or we can, I mean, these are the connectors or we say slots or ports to connect different peripherals. And this is motherboard contains the processor and other components. So generally we can say a motherboard is a large printer circuit board. It contains the processor and other electronic components and acts as a glue which binds all the components together. The meaning is it is a place where we can see uh, so many electronic components are connected to it or mounted on it. Now let us see what are the characteristics of motherboard. This characteristics of a motherboard or motherboard is characterized by there are three factors one is form factor, second one is chipset, and third one is processor socket. And here, what do you mean by form factor? Now, if you look at the diagram here, you can see different, I mean, motherboard with a different size and different shapes. So, the size of the motherboard and the shape of the motherboard and the electronic components to be mounted on the motherboard all are decided or comes under the factor form factor. Here it refers to the motherboard's geometry, 
dimension and electronical arrangement and electrical requirement. So, what are the necessary hardware should be mounted on the motherboard and with the, the exact location, exact place. So, that is form factor. Next characteristics is chipset. The function of chipset is to coordinate the data transfer between the various components of the computer. As just now we have seen that there are so many components are mounted on the motherboard. And how do all these components are communicate or how the data is transferred between one hardware to another hardware or how the signal from the control unit it goes to other different parts how it is possible and everything all these activities are coordinated by this called chipset chipset is nothing but a, it is a combination of two or three chipset or ICs or chips to support microprocessor next character is processor socket this is socket and here you know what is a processor processor is the main component of on the motherboard or of the computer system now all this time we are we used to say that the cpu is the brain of the computer system so this is what we are referring to the word brain of the computer system so processor is called as brain of the computer system so what is the processor socket this is an opening or a place where we can directly fix the microprocessor on the motherboard. So these are the characteristics of motherboard. We move on to the next slide. Here, now let us talk about different types of motherboard. And what is the meaning of different types of motherboard? And today, now we are using a personal computer. Now, the what is the motherboard inside that? And if you talk about at the beginning, when we start using the CPU with the motherboard and what was the name of the motherboard and what was the type of the motherboard and what are different components over it are supporting the system. There are four types of motherboard and all these types of motherboard, it is classification is mainly based on the technical specification and as and when there is an advanced improvement in the field of science and technology so they have implemented this these type of systems so these type of motherboard now let us see the difference among them one by one first type of motherboard that is xt motherboards that is here xt stands for extended technology the full form of xt is extended technology and this is the old motherboard or the old model motherboard and the first computer they have started using or they were using this type of motherboard that is XT motherboard in the with the system so again along with as I told you motherboard is a place where you can see different types of hardware different types of ports or slots now we can make out here processor socket and here in this example in this type they were using LIF socket. This is the technical name of a type of socket they were using over the mother, on the motherboard. Next, RAM slots, DIMM slots, ISA slots, and 12 pin connectors. And there were no ports in this type of motherboard. And you can see the different picture over there. And you can try to make out the different parts of the motherboard. And here, and here example for this is a Pentium or P1, normally we say P1, P2, P3. These are the systems, example for XT motherboard. Next type of motherboard is AT motherboard. Here AT stands for advanced technology. And again, this is, there is an improvement with respect to the previous version that is XT motherboard. And here AT stands for advanced technology and here it is having a PGA slot. If you look at the previous one, it was LIF socket. Now here, in this it is PGA socket. And SD RAM slots and ISA slots, PIC slots as a 20 pin power connector. If you look at the previous one, it was around 12 pin connectors, power connectors. Now it is a AT motherboard supports 20 pin connectors and here example for this system for motherboard is P3 system. I mean processor 3, Pentium 3, 
computer systems or comes under this type of motherboard. Next, we want to next slide. This is baby AT motherboards. So example is P3 and P4 computer systems. So here baby AT, it is a combination of XT and AT motherboard. And because of the technology, they have come up with a motherboard with few combination, few parts of XT as well as few parts of AT, they have come up with one single motherboard that is baby AT motherboard. And here, this is slot type is processor socket and here PGA as well as LIF. And this is a PGA processor socket. It was, we found in previous AT motherboard, SD RAM slot and DDR RAM slots. This type of motherboard, it contains these two types of slots. Whereas if you see that the previous, see it was having SD RAM slot and in here it is SD as well as DD RAM slots and PCIe and ISA slots. Okay. And again, 2010 12 pin connectors, power connectors, and it was supported with ports. See, this is as it is a combination of AT and XT motherboard. So many of the components are, are common to both the XT as well as AT motherboard. So this is the features of baby AT motherboard. Next one is another type of motherboard that is ATX motherboard, ATX motherboard. Examples are P4 and nowadays you might have heard the word dual core processor or core i3, core i7, all these belongs to this type of motherboard and this is the latest motherboard as of now. And also we can find micro ATX motherboard also available and as of now ATX motherboard is the latest motherboard and here these are characterized by advanced technology extended. The full form of ATX is advanced technology extended and again this is the latest motherboard and this is the name of the socket is MPGA processor socket and ID interface, SATA connectors, DDR RAM slots, PIC as well as ISA slots and AGP slots and 2010 12 pin connectors as well as ports. See these are the features of the latest motherboard that is ATX motherboard. Now, now let me summarize what we have discussed in this session. See, we have learned the definition of hardware, software, what is data, what are users, whom we call as users and we have learned the function of a computer system, how computer works through block diagram of computer system, then then characteristics of motherboard, form factor, it decides the shape and geometry and dimension of the motherboard as well as a chipset, that is the supporting chips. Next one is uh, processor socket, that is a place to fix microprocessor. Then types of motherboard, that is the, all the types of motherboard is based on the technology or technological development in the field of science and technology. As and when the technology is developed or improved, they were implementing those technologies. So based on this, we have categorized these motherboards into uh, four types. One is XT motherboard, that is the old motherboard. Then AT motherboard, that is advanced technology motherboard. Then baby AT motherboard, that is a combination of XT as well as AD motherboards. And last one is ATX motherboard. This is the latest motherboard. Thank you very much.